All right, y'all, let's talk about it, man. So I, I haven't, I didn't even do a prediction. So let me just say this, because this, this was my honest prediction. I thought, well, it still could happen, <laughs> but I doubt it. Um, I, so I picked the Lakers to beat the Nuggets in six games. I thought they were going to have a similar, uh, similar formula where they win at least one uh, game between one and two, games one and two, and then win both games three and four, and then end up winning uh, game six. I thought it was going to be a similar format. I know the Nuggets are different, um, but yeah, I, I just wanted to state that. So, so far, I've obviously been wrong. Uh, Lakers are down zero and two. I'm going to state the reasons why I believe so and how they could still win <laughs> could still win this series. But uh, look, I'm going to just go to why I, I think they're losing. Number one, uh, Nico, Nico, Jokic, Nikolo, Nikola, Nico, how you say it? Nikola, Jokic. I think that's how you say his name. But yeah, okay, so... He's been spectacular. The first two games has been spectacular, especially in the rebound. I already knew he was going to score. You can't stop him from scoring. But the rebounding has been... Look, he makes AD look so just regular when it comes to the rebounding. Like, you see AD rebounding, you're like, okay, that's cool. Then you see Jokic, and you're like, oh, my God, this is this is amazing. Like, you just... It makes you happy to see big man... Uh, big man you know, basketball, so to speak. He's been stellar. Then Jamal Murray, he's he's been going super sane on the on the Lakers. Especially the fourth quarter of game two. He went he went super sane too, bro. He went super sane too. And they just could not stop him, man. You know it's a problem when LeBron of all people is in your face and LeBron can't stop him. Like he LeBron is guarding him and can't stop him. He's just hitting these threes and they can't stop it. So I want to congratulate uh, the Nuggets thus far. I'm not no hater when it comes to the Nuggets. Mike Malone has done a great job. Uh, KCP has been great for them. I want to uh, also give credit to uh, MPJ. He's been playing defense. He hits his threes here and there, but he's been playing defense, which um, kudos to him as well. Yeah, man, they they just been playing really well overall, um, obviously offensively, and uh, they've been playing defense when they need to. So I got to give them credit where it's due. You already knew it was going to be a weird game when LeBron missed that damn dunk. Uh, that was an old fart moment, as I call it. But um, yeah, AD being so inconsistent, I know he's going to score a lot in game three. I already know because he has this weird thing in the playoffs this season where he's it's great the first um the first game the the odd games he's really good and the even games he's regular at best uh offensively speaking so i hope he can find another 40 point game i've said this if y'all watch my videos was only a couple of y'all but if you watch my videos i've said several times uh ad needs to average 32 points and 14 rebounds in order to win the series. And the Lakers have got, have just been fortunate to win the last two series without that type of performance. But he's going to have to be that guy games uh, three to six or seven uh, if they if they can win their two home games. I think they will win the two home games because they have not lost. Obviously, if they lose one of these games, then it's over. You forget about it. You forget about it. But I, I do think they will win these next two games and then... Even if the Lakers, well, I, like I said, even when the Lakers do, or if they do, I'm trying to speak it to existence, <laughs> uh, we saw what happened with the Nuggets. They lost those two games at the Suns and then demolished the Suns uh, in pretty much game five to game six, or like half a game five and then the entire game six. So I'm going to say the Lakers find a way to do it. And this is how they're going to do it. First of all, AD, you need to score consistently. Stop with that nonsense. You not an old fart. Cut it out. LeBron, I know you an old fart, but you're gonna have to muster up. You can't do these these, these 20 points a game, bro. We're gonna need you to get 28 and above. I think you can't do it, but you gotta stop shooting them damn threes. You are terrible in shooting them threes. Yeah, you may be streaking tonight, but you're not a consistent three-point shooter. Now, 
Um, oh, this is what I was gonna say. Rui, 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 and uh, AR fifteen. Or I'll just call him AR. Austin Reeves. They need to have the say so to score more. I don't know how how it goes, you know, with the team. But if they score more, if, if the coach allows them to be more offensive then I think that is a winning formula because AR and uh, Rui, they were uh, spectacular. They were stellar against the Grizzlies that first game. I think that formula, they need to have that at home in front of the rest of the series. I would also say they need to throw out more bodies. I would throw out Tristan Thompson, uh, the Mobamba dude. Uh, oh, they already got Vanderbilt. But yeah, I would just throw a bunch of bigs at Jokic. Uh, like I, I, besides Rui, I'm I'm throwing I'm throwing I'm literally getting guys off the bench and I'm just throwing them at uh, Jokic because you gotta slow him down before the fourth quarter. He he's tired by the fourth quarter, but he's already done all his work. They need to do offensively in the first three quarters, pretty much. So you gotta slow him down way earlier. And part of that is you gotta just throw bodies. I would throw guys on him. That, you know, like I said, they're on the bench that are not as opponent. And just let them just get tough, get rough with them, foul him if you got to. You need to wear him down. You cannot just, AD can't do nothing with him. I'm just going to keep it real, bro. I don't give a damn what none of y'all say. AD can't do nothing with them. And it's, almost, it's only so much that Rui can do. Rui! Rui! I'm trying to speak it to existence. So, <laughs> uh, yeah, it's only so much Hachimura could do. So, you need to throw more bodies on this dude. Just throw a bunch of big bodies at him. Because, look, think about it. With LeBron, even, let's say LeBron was a tad bit younger. You still can throw uh, MPJ, Aaron Gordon, and a couple other guys on him. So, you need to do that, but to Jokic. Um, D'Lo, you need to get your ass together. Dennis, you'll figure it out. But D'Lo... You got to cut it out, bro. If you're not going to play uh, very good or be efficient on offense, you got to be good on defense. Uh-uh. You, no. No means no. <laughs> D.O., you got to do better. Unacceptable the first two games. Matumbo. So, yeah. Um, I got the Lakers winning games three and four, and then we'll see what happens after that. But I did say they will win in six get uh, six games. I don't think that's possible at this point. I just don't see how they could just muster this up. Unless AD averages 32 points and 14 rebounds from here on out. If he does that, yeah, they could they could go 4-0 uh, these next four games. But under that, I'm just going to say they, they end up being 2-2. Two and two, And we'll see what goes from there. Let me know what you think about this series. Give me the comments so I can respond back. Like a nation, let's go!